I guess I'll record this. So um, now uh, uh, our commands. Now we can put a, uh, we can use the scalar markup, and we can put an eval, an echo, or define or other command on the next line. Okay, so that we can get highlighting of our row line text. And uh, define takes a macro form, dollar new ballot, and I give it two dummy arguments, dollar name and dollar choices. Right. And what I did here was I, 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 I copy and pasted the code that uh, Dan did to create a new vote, a new ballot. Um, and uh, uh, I, uh, uh, I'm going to change it now to be general, to be more generic, so that you can say new ballot, give the name of the ballot, give the choices in the ballot, and um, uh, have people vote on it in easily in. Uh, in uh, uh, Discord. So we have uh, interrupt any time, Valentine. Ask questions. Uh, right. Okay, no problem. Okay, so these are this, the channels that he opened that stays the same. Now here he had a URI for the ballot contract. I replaced that with dollar ballot, which is a macro that is set to the ballot contract uh, URI. Um, I suppose I could have called it ballot URI to be a little clearer, but um, the image I'm using now is I just start it with a capital name for a contract URI. Okay, so we look up that, we get uh, back the address of the ballot contract, and we print out here, the ballot contract uh, uh, address. I'm gonna remove that. We don't need to see the unforgeable name of the ballot contract. <laughs> okay, then I... Uh, Uh, I guess his name doesn't matter. Um, uh, when we call this choice set, just to be clear that somebody should give a set here. And for this set here, this was a vote for Jim, Steve, or R that he was creating here. So I'm going to put it here. Choice. Cut. So it'll create whatever ballot we want. And returns it on a ballot channel. And then we get the chair and we get the winner. Um, Jim, Jim, can I ask a question here? Yep. Um, this ballot bank choice sets and ballot channel that asterisk BCH. Um, how as in what what's the use of what what what's the use in the in the, the code? What's the what? The use of the asterisk BCH after the um, ballot bank. BCH. Yeah, there. But, yeah. Okay. Well, um, um, we're going to read BCH here. Okay. And uh, it's a tuple which has the chair, which is the admin, and the get winner, which is a method, okay. which is a uh, contract. Yes, it's okay. a contract also. 
chair is the admin contract and get winner is the results. Results. You got it? Yeah. In other words, this ballot, ballot bang returns. And if we look at um, voting, we can see ballot has proposal names. That's a set. And it has returned. Okay, and okay. Um, it uh, ultimately um, it ultimately is going to he uses return. Wow. Okay, here it is. Right here, he returns. He returns a person, which is a contract here. Okay. It returns a tuple. And then the proposal name, which is another contract. Okay, that's defined below here. Okay. Giving the results of the of the voting. Um, uh, and so here we, we call the ballot contract, we give it a set choice, a, a, uh, we, we read back the choice set, we read back the, uh, uh, the return, and uh, that gives us the tuple, which is the uh, care and the get winner. And then here we print out the pair uh, of the get winner, which are unforgeable names. We don't need to see them. Now we're going to look up look up. Um, in this case, it was this is Dan's locker. Um, and uh, whoever we don't want to use Dan's locker because, in principle, we can't. We don't know the. We don't know uh, the private key. Although he's using toy keys here. Uh, we want to uh, use dollar locker. Um, underscore. And then for concatenating names in these macros, I use percent percent. We put in dollar my username okay and it, you know every time when you run it when you run um an eval it defines my username to be your discord name we're using discord identities for voting and for uh, other stuff so whoever creates a ballot is going to be they're, they're going to have the uh, capabilities. Okay, so then it reads the locker and it updates the locker and it adds a chair 
and they get win. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna change this a little bit because this only supports one election because there can only be one chair and there can only be one get winner. So I'm going to put this in the map here. And I'm going to put it in, uh, 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 dollar name of the election of, of the of the election. And under the name, I'm going to have in another map which is has the chair and the winner for that name now I could I probably could have put it put in uh, another layer of uh, maps which would be elections so we would have elections names and values. Um, I think you're missing the quality brace over there. Um, didn't I put a quality brace? Wait. Now I'm a little bit confused. What do you have here? Oops. Docker update. Yeah. Oh, I think I want to allow more than one election. Um, Archain EU wants to actually use this for voting. Wow. We can make it work. <laughs> and uh, Greg wants a demo of voting at the uh, at the uh, at the uh, debrief. If we can make it work. Um, okay, so uh, um, the uh, so we have uh, get winner. And um, I guess we should make this a little clearer. Then we have two more arguments. One, two, three. One, two. How can we have? How come I have two bracket braces at the beginning? Want a map? That's better. This is what you were saying. Oops, we lost Valentine again. Yeah. Okay, so um,
Uh, we have one little problem here. What's the little okay. problem? Uh, we need the nonce here for the, uh, we need the nonce for the, uh, for the locker. So we need a dollar. Um, uh, locker, nons, and then we use the percentage. Percent again to concatenate my username, whoever's creating the the ballot. That's the knots. Okay, now the next problem is that since we're accessing the locker directly, the nonce isn't going to be updated. <coughs> so We want to do the code to update the nonce. And, um, uh, that's uh, Here, we're going to define the locker nonce plus the username. Okay, and here we're, we're not, we're not going to evaluate the username. We're going to print out the dollar locker nonce username. So we use the, we're using the, uh, the row line plus plus, uh, concat which is concatenation and row line. And uh, then we get the actual value of the nonce here, of my uh, locker nonce, and we add one to it. Um, so I'm going to, uh, in par, I'm going to, uh, What? I didn't copy it. Okay, and when this prints out, it's going to see define locker nonce Jim Scarver, which is my old locker nonce plus one. I think this is done. I can't hear you, Valentine. Try again. Still no good. Um, I need to ask it on zero eight. Hello. Yeah, I couldn't. I didn't hear that question. No, you're breaking. I noticed that was the video because. You see an error? Hey, you're not 
not coming in too good. Let me turn off my video, see if that helps. Can we hear you now? Um, new ballot. Um, Try this. Uh, and we hear you now. Okay, my question is that um, I noticed that the new update on R0.8 and 0.8.0, that there's been some additional new syntax. Is there um, a link to the documentation or something which I could read up? Uh, good question. Uh, um, I think, uh, yeah, you're going to have to ask in the channel, the row line channel. Um, I thought somebody did ask maybe, but maybe not. I did ask, I asked the general channel, but I didn't get a reply. Yeah, I'll find it, I'm kind of wondering that too, because um, they haven't actually updated the user guide since pretty much for first release. Like a lot of the youth side are quite outdated too. Oh, there's one problem. Oh, no problem. Okay. I need another parenthesis. Okay. And it worked. That signature. Ah. Damn. What does that mean? Well, um, Okay, it, it, it increased my nonce, which is good. So that should work. My nonce should still be correct. So what I need to do here is I need to uh, replace this a a a a with dollar my prove key oops that should work Oops. What do I do? Maybe you uh, shift into it rather than into. This correct? Did I screw it up?
So Anna, you've already divide you've already defined the pair of key, haven't you? Yeah, I I defined it here. So now I can try it again. And it updated my nonce and created it. It worked with my pair of key. Yay! So, now um, I next have to give people the right to vote. And we also, we already have one. We did a test one. Oh, is it give right? I didn't, I didn't mean to do an eval there. I meant to do an echo. It doesn't actually execute it, it just shows us what it would do. What? Can't even spell. Uh, let's see. Where'd that plus plus come from? Why in the world didn't it fix this? Sprinting it out wrong again. Okay, this looks up the locker. Now, where did I get this from? Sending right to vote to XXX. That's This pattern is going to get complicated. I can see that now. Now, why did it say XXXX used twice as a blender?
I want to process for one of them. So maybe if you just put a star um, in front of it. Okay, I might be misinterpreting it as a name when it should be a process. Is looking up an inbox. Okay, so I'm giving someone the right to vote. I have to find their inbox. So, um, this should be a URI here. This is screwy. Why do you do a, get a, why, where did this plus plus come from? Uh, let's start with this other one. E, uh, okay, the file global.h has all the defines of all the macros. Here's the test give write. Macro. Um, so this took an inbox and a nonce. Okay, we don't need a not to give a nonce anymore. then we don't need to give an inbox anymore. But we do need to give a name. Of the election. Uh, would that just be name though? Or would that be something else? Well, this would be uh, the, uh, we have uh, the user. Let's put user here. We give them to write, we give, we're giving a user the right to vote on a ballot, right? Yeah. Um, it would be nice to take a, maybe a list of names.
but let's keep it simple. And uh, what do we call it? Allow, allow vote. That's not a good name. Allow to vote. User ballot. Okay. And we'll put this. This is uh, going to be a defined colon. And we'll put a scale. Uh, and we'll format this a little better. Okay, so it's not Dan's locker. It's gotta be my locker, right? So uh, it'd be dollar locker underscore percent percent. How are my username? Is it that way or is it username underscore locker? Um, no, it's um, the uh, name always comes last in what we're doing now. Okay. If we look at uh, the robots channel here, where is it? Where did you uh, create your new user? Testing channel? Uh, which new user? You just made, you just said make. Oh, that was in a robot. Was was Where did you say make my lock, not locker? Uh, robots. No, you're right though. It is locker underscore username. Uh, it's in robots. Uh, okay, when uh, where, how come I don't see it? Uh, there it is. Maybe scroll down ever so slightly. Okay, here it is right here. Make my locker. Okay, and it does define locker nonce to one. Did it define locker aviation hacker? Did it define an inbox aviation hacker? So Valentine, um, I think he dropped off the call. He's off. Yeah, he hasn't been back for like ten minutes or so. Okay, so uh, I don't know. I have two dollar signs here. Uh, look up dollar sign 
those who are lock, locker, my username, locker channel. And then we have uh, four. Okay, get now. Here we need my private key. which is uh, Discord provides the value. And then we have nonce, which is going to be uh, locker underscore nonce. underscore concatenate concatenate my user name Now this is where we're going to have a little bit of a headache. Okay. So it's going to get the locker and the locker is going to have in it The, uh, the ballot. So I'm not quite sure But we're going to have a dollar ballot, which is the name of the ballot. which is going to give us back the variable ballot. Okay, so in, in the, in the uh, map, there's an entry 
it has the name of the ballot as the key and it, and the ballot is a map that's in there okay and then we Now to get the chair now, we have to do a, uh, a ballot dot get of quote chair quote in parentheses. And then we give right to vote. Right to vote channel. Oops. We read the vote channel, we get the vote. Okay, we look up the inbox. Now, which inbox is this? This is the inbox of the of the user. Inbox underscore percent percent. Dollar user. Oops. Oh, we don't need to. Uh, oh, user. Yeah, that's what we passed. It was dollar user, right? Yep. And we read that to the inbox channel. We got. We get his inbox for your inbox. I uh, write to your inbox with his vote. Wait. So And uh, I'm 
just put all those there. Um, what's the ballot dot uh, This dollar yeah. inbox is no good. I don't have that anymore. Yeah. Um, the other thing is with the second line there, doesn't that mean you're writing, giving the right to vote to the chair? If you go up, yeah, that line there. Uh, the chair in, in my, in my ballot, the chair is really the admin capability. The chair is the admin capability. Okay. And I get the right to vote back. which I, um, I write to the person's inbox who, who, who is getting the right to vote. But oh, I, yeah. I'm writing the right to vote to the user's inbox. Okay. I think so. Um, I'm going to delete this mess. Okay. So you created a balance of flavors. Hey, it's Steve. Hey, everybody. Hi, Steve. Hey, how are you? Uh, good. So what are you guys working on? Uh, well, we're trying to uh, set up voting in... Uh, Discord. And uh, okay. um, uh, if you would uh, 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 we can uh, we just defined a give right, uh, uh, allow to vote. Okay. Here, so I'm going to try uh, uh, allow to vote. Okay. What we did was first we created we created a uh, a new ballot macro, and then we created a new ballot called flavors: vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. Okay. And um, as you 
I uh, can see here it automatically increased my knots. Okay. And uh, uh, created the uh, 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 in my in my locker it put in an entry called flavors which has the uh, chair and the uh, results uh, capabilities um, okay so so in your locker so you you are the chair for this ballot yeah, whoever, who, whoever, whoever types in, you can, anybody can make a, a, anyone can make a ballot. And then okay. it gets put into your locker. But first okay. you have to do a make my locker. Okay. Dollars All right. Make my locker. Okay. And you're, have you, you've created a new locker, one that's different than the locker that we created with Dan two weeks ago? Right. Okay, so you're starting fresh. Yeah. Okay. So Aviation Hacker, I'm going to allow, uh, uh, allow him to vote. Uh, CK. On uh, the flavors ballot. Uh oh. 331 to 332. Didn't work. <laughs> so, um, uh, why don't you uh, share your screen, Steve, and uh, do a, uh, a, a, a make my locker, dollar make my eval, call in, make my locker. Um, and you can do that in the bots testing in the testing bots channel or in the robust channel. Okay. Yeah, I have to, uh, I have to review again how I did it the uh, the first time. So let me. No, let me no, go. you don't have you don't no. do it, you don't do it the same way. <laughs> oh, it's a different way. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. The the uh, um, you do a dollar uh, eval colon dollar sign. Eval call in space dollar sign make my lock make my locker. Okay. That's it. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow, Jim. You've been doing some good stuff. <laughs> Okay, now you can see it defined your nonce as one. So you don't have to keep track of your nonce anymore. Oh, tremendous. Okay. Um, and uh, it defined, uh, it defined, did it define of your inbox? So now anybody can get your inbox. Okay, if you do a, a, a echo colon, A uh, dollar inbox under Henley Henley Net, uh, Natural. Okay. Okay. Echo colon inbox space space dollar space. So, same as it's defined above. Defined okay. uh, inbox oh. Henley Natural. Okay. Echo. Okay. Echo. Underscore Henley Natural, just like a, just like the define that's printed okay. out. Okay, so now we're using echo now as opposed to eval. How does how is echo different from the eval? Uh, well, echo just expands the macros without without e executing on row line. 
Okay. And so if you Okay, so I've got it right. Echo colon space uh, dollar sign and enter. Okay. Okay, so um, that uh, uh, now if you did it in the eval dollar Henley natural, um, you would get it back from our chain. It would actually send that to an eval. Like this? Yeah. Oh. It'd need to be inbox underscore, wouldn't it? Inbox underscore. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, this is I, a common I, error. You see where it says an invalid character dollar sign? That means you, uh, you gave a macro that's not defined. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm following you. And uh, we're using dollar sign as a convention. <laughs> yeah. Because if you don't use it when you define things. Um, hey. Okay. So, I mean, um, uh, eval doesn't, uh, uh, echo doesn't, expands it, but doesn't execute it. So. Oh, okay. That's what I needed to understand. So e echo expands it, but doesn't eval. If you want to execute it with something, you have to do an eval. Right. Okay. Okay. So you exist now. Okay. Um, so I'm going to give you the right. Uh, I'll take this back temporarily. Yeah. And uh, uh, oh, I better run off. So oh, I we got an error here. <laughs> so we have to fix the error. Nice to meet you. And you're, and you're uh, a die, is that correct? Adi. Adi, okay. And I'm Steve. Steve Henley. Where are you where are you based out of, Addy? Uh New Zealand. Oh, okay. Well, what time is it in New Zealand? It's about ten AM or just past. Ten AM. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, nice to meet your acquaintance. Yeah, same to you. Uh -huh. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, Jim. All right, Addy. Take care. Uh, so, are, are you good with doing this, uh, Steve? Is there something else you want to do? No, yeah, this is good. We're, we got to learn how to do this uh, anyways. Right. We, so, uh, uh, defining this uh, allowed to vote. Okay. And the way we define is define colon, and then we can define anything, anything we want. <laughs> okay. The okay. first thing is the, is the name, which can have arguments or just be a, a name. Dummy arguments, mm -hmm. and then the rest of it is the is the macro is the value of the macro. Oh, okay, okay. So it's like the first token up to a space, really. Mm -hmm. Is uh, is what you're defining, and then the rest of it. So here, okay. these are dummy variables. So where mm -hmm. I have dollar user here, I have dollar user here. Okay, and then there's some special variables, my priv key, my username, uh, my, pro, uh, my pub key that are supplied uh, from Discord. Okay. When, when you execute it. Um, if, uh, uh, if I put in, if, if you put in, uh, if, if I put in a dollar my username, it puts in, oh, yeah, it's not going to do it on Echo. Um, uh, Echo doesn't, doesn't uh, expand your personal name. Oh, okay. Good to know. Uh, 
And that's generally because, I mean, that's because you don't want to reveal your private key and other things in the channel. Uh-huh. But you could if you evaluate them and print them. Um, and these definitions that you create are specific only to your Discord handle. So just as mine would be unique to my Discord handle. Right. Your username, anything with, you know, my username, my print key, my pub key. Okay. Are specific to your, your Discord identity. Uh, is Discord identity. Okay. This is, this is awesome. Yeah, because you need some kind of identity to vote, right? <laughs> exactly. Uh-huh. Um, okay. So, uh, uh, we got a syntax error here, and this could be a little bit hard. It's at 331 on line one. And um, if I... Uh, Uh, control C. Now, in order to debug this, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to um, have to look on um, robot.net. Okay. Uh, since uh, Audi's, Audi's aviation hacker, how do you spell Henley Natural? H E N L E Y, then the word natural. N A T U R A L. That look good? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to try to allow you to vote. We're going to end up with uh, syntax error 331. And uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, go over here. And look at uh, I don't know what happened. You didn't do it. Okay, so this this is what they tried to execute. They basically put it all on one line. Oh, okay. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this whole thing here. And get that last, did you get that last brace? I wasn't sure when you when you hit when you were highlighted if you got that last there's one, two, three, four braces. I wasn't sure if there was a fifth brace or not. Okay. Um it looks like I'm missing a brace. Yeah. It's... Okay. Now hope. Now, it would have given me an EOF, error on EOF, if I was missing a brace when I ran it. No, I, I, I was just saying when you, you, yeah, when you highlighted it earlier. Okay, so uh, it's at um, 332, 331. So um, I'm going to uh, type uh, 331 space. Ah, this is where it is gave us a problem. So I didn't like this ballot yet. Um, 
I don't know if I can think of a good example program that does something similar here. Oops. Um, Right. Oops. Uh, I was sure in here somewhere. You, yeah, um, you're trying to find another get. Okay, here's where I did a get. But I put it in break brackets. Okay. I put it in squiggly brackets. Right. So let me. Uh, uh, so let me uh, do that. So I'm going to put it in squiggly here, and a squiggly here, and then they go to the bottom and hit enter. Is there anything else I do? Uh, you uh, give it a try. I'd have to look back at that example again, but I think you got it. Um, here, let's look at that example. Oh. Yeah, the, okay. So it, the braces are, yeah. So we got the first brace right. It's that second brace. I think it's further, further out. The further. brace goes right before the, the exclamation point. Yes, yes. Oops. So, so we okay. There we go. So, Oops. yeah. So we just move that second brace after the word get. No, that's where it was the first time. I did it again, huh? Yep, we won it by the exclamation, by the the bang, as Shasi calls it. Super. There we go. So, let's get rid of this garbage. And let's try to allow you to vote now. Yay. Okay. The right to vote. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. But I don't know if I have to give myself the right to vote or not. 
Mm. Probably. Yeah, I, I would say. The vote procedure is going to look for it in my inbox, right? The vote procedure in the inbox? Okay, I'll take your word for it. Okay. And it didn't work. Expect a nonce eight. So the were the nonces uh, you said that they were incrementing, automatically incrementing, right? With your macro. Except uh, when I sent this vote to right, I didn't increment it. Okay. Uh, uh. Every time we access the locker, we should increment it. Okay. When you highlight on your screen, is there a one, two, three, four, I see five braces. There we go. Oops. Actually, I want to get the... Uh, it added control a control c yeah that's a better way you get the uh the, the scale the uh the block quote okay so this is almost right except that i used a locker here Right. And when I use the locker, but every time I access the locker, I am supposed to update the uh, Um, okay, and I just, okay, the, um, when it sees that in the log, it, it doesn't define. And I forgot, I didn't get the, uh, okay. Now I actually have a, uh, have a macro to access the locker that does that. But okay. I don't want to get too fancy right now. Right. Um, Oh, I'm going to access the locker and I'm going to how did that get out there? I'm wondering if I actually have an enter here. I do. So I hope this works. 
Um, but I have to uh, define, I have to do this manually now, dollar locker nonce Jim Barber eight. Okay, I had to patch it manually here. Okay, gotcha. But now, oh, interesting. Okay, if I do an allowed to vote for myself, it incremented it to find it to be nine. Okay, yeah, yeah let's see that. Okay. So. <laughs> I didn't get it right. It would be good to have an easy way to uh, be nice to have an easy way to uh, did out. On this screen here, is this where? Oh, I guess it was the previous one. Uh, this, need... uh, this is the actual file where the, uh, where the where the macros are defined. Right. I was the screen before was where we had the the at ballot dot get, and did we need to update the the braces curly braces there? The thing before was just the output. Oh, that was the output. Okay. No, that was that was uh, 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 in the temporary directory. There's a file jimscarver.row. Okay. Which is the last thing I it tried to execute on my behalf. Okay. And uh, actually, I just put that in the editor so I could uh, find the 300 character in it. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Uh, Probably uh, we need to add a debug function. We're gonna have to add debug functionality so people don't have to look at this. Yeah. Like they able, they need to be able to find macros. They want to be able to find things in the log, in the R chain log, in the R node log, and they want to be able to. Um, Uh, I'll find files and stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is the test votes. It just takes a, take a note. Oh, test votes. That's the, the te that's the uh, test votes is the procedure that That looks up the, uh, it gives you the results of the election. Okay. Um, now, test vote is the one that uh, actually get, it lets you vote. Okay. And maybe I should just copy this. Ah. 
And uh, so I'll do Scala define colon and I'll paste this thing in. Now and things are going to be very different now. Right before the word, after you have define colon, I think you need the word test. Test vote. I think oh, it got cut that's off. That's what you had before was test vote. Right, but on the screen right here, the word it only has vote. It doesn't right. have test I'm making, vote. I'm making a new macro. <laughs> oh, testing. okay. So you don't. We're not. T we're not testing anymore. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that. I mean, we are testing, but these these are the ones that people are really going to use. Gotcha. Okay, but I do need a dollar sign. Okay. Good point. Yep. I do need a dollar sign. It's a mess. Okay, so we have uh, uh, we don't need we don't need the locker. Uh, we do need the ballot name. Okay. We do need the vote and we don't need the knots. Okay. Okay, so we do we do all our news and then we look up my locker, which is going to be um, actually, we don't look up the locker. Yeah, we do look up the locker. Yep. He's looking up a locker. And what's he doing here? He gets a locker. And then he gets the stuff out of the locker. Mm -hmm. And then he gets he gets an inbox out of the locker. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We don't really need to get the inbox out of the locker. Because We have the URI of the uh, we have the URI of your inbox defined. Okay. But I don't want to break this in case it works. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it did. Uh, but this is basically dance code. Uh, oh, okay. Um. Okay, so we don't know the private key. So we're going to put in uh, oh, or my priv key. And we're going to have uh, Locker underscore knots. Underscore and then the, the cement and name I gotta do percent percent. I added that good funny thing. Otherwise it won't evaluate. Okay. 
the username. So that'll make a, for me, that'll make a locker nonce underscore Jim Scarver. Okay, so then it gets the inbox from the locker channel. And then it reads from the inbox. The vote. And then this is a little silly too. <laughs> I don't think this inbox is going to work right, but that's okay. This is the way Dan wrote it. This is what we're demonstrating what Dan did. <laughs> okay. Although he's got a newer version of it. Yeah. Um, so we read the vote. Uh, and we write, we write to the vote what your vote was. Mm -hmm. And we have one more thing to do. Guess what that is? Um, print it out. We need to increment the nonce. Okay. Mm, okay. <gasps> I didn't copy it. What in the world is happening? Like not copying. Uh, do can you do uh, right click? Right click copy. I um. This time I did a control C. Oh, okay, even better. I think I did. I thought I did a right click copy before. Okay, so um, and we increment the nonce and then we're done. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, no, that looks all right. Eval, call in, dollar vote. Flavors, vote, comma, vote, vanilla.
Oh. Some, I got an illegal character dollar sign. At 93. Let me see if I can guess what that is. Dollar locker? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's my bug. What's dollar locker? Should be my locker. Locker underscore percent percent dollar my oh username. That should work better. Okay. I go to the bottom and enter. Error, another dollar sign at two thirty seven. That's toward the end. Okay. Um, whoops. It should have been my username. Mm. Debugging this is a little hard, huh? Oh, well, yeah. I... My username. Down to the bottom. Enter. And it's looking like it worked. It looks like it worked. What's this proposal? Oh, right. I propose vanilla and I'm the exposer. Okay. okay so we need one more function and we're done. Okay. And we have uh, 14 minutes left. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so this was the results. And what should we call this thing? Uh, results? Results. Uh, uh, um, yeah, the, it's the, 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 the vote results is in an election. Campaign results, vote re results, but results is uh, understood. 
Yeah, well, I don't know. It's a little bit too generic. Oh, okay. Um, so why don't we outcome? Make it, wait, 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 outcome that starts to get a little longer. Uh, voting. Uh, what do they call vote election results? Uh, status, updates, um, outcomes. Um, Why don't we just call it vote results? Vote results, okay. You could call it election results but, or something, but that doesn't have to be an electric. And we don't need the nonce anymore. Okay, what we do need is the name of the election, right here. Okay, right. Flavors. Okay, so uh, so we have all this new stuff. So we've got in there Dan's lock, Dan underscore locker. So we, whoa! <laughs> I forgot to scale the stuff. Don't put a gun in your hand. <laughs> You're quick to shoot. Bang, bang. Tick, tick, tick. Scale up. Now I put it in. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to go up to the brace. And then we look up. Okay, and locker. Underscore percent percent dollar my user name. Okay. And then I do a a four. And then I do dollar my priv key. And I have a locker underscore nonce underscore percent percent dollar my user name. Items channel, and then I do four. Something is wrong. Uh, 
Okay, so this this I know has to be changed here. I read the items channel. And I'm going to get the uh, I'm going to uh, Yeah, get winner is the function I want to call. Right. Okay. I'll, I'll fix that first. Uh, so I need a brace here. Valid. Dot get. Get winner, I think. Okay, so. Um. Now I have to get the ballot. Okay. And so I put it in here. Dollar name. Get the ballot. This is the same thing we did before, right? But now okay. we have to get it out. And um, we do, we did this so that we could have more than one election. If there was only one get winner in your locker, you could only have one election. Okay. Okay, and this uh, uh, Okay, and there's one more thing we have to do. 
Yeah, and the uh, that is. <laughs> yeah, standard out or the yeah. yeah, the increment, the nonce. Okay. I click copy. I'll try this time. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's give it a shot. All right. We have two minutes left. Did you vote? <laughs> oh, no, I haven't voted. Um, you should probably vote. It'd be a little more interesting if we have two votes, right? Right. Okay. So, dollar vote results. Syntax error. Oh no. What did I do wrong? So I'm going to resort to. What are you doing? What was it at four o two? Four o two space. Okay, I just voted. Cool. What did you vote for? Strawberry. <laughs> I did notice. I think you might have chocolate misspelled. Oh no. Yeah. But we can. You can fix yeah. that later. This is a test. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what could be wrong here? Okay, so I'm trying to recover and continue parse for input symbol spanning from unknown. 402, do you know where 402 is? Right here. That's um um wait a second. I got the wrong the wrong I, I I got a parenthesis here instead of a grace. Simple Well, 
Where was that? Oh, uh, WCH in the middle. Yeah. Uh, after I after get winter. Parentheses here. Oh. Uh, Should have been. Oh, here. that's right. That's the where it was. Squiggly bracket. The squiggly bracket. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, give that another try. And uh, yay! There we go. Strawberry won, but but <laughs> <laughs> how come straw? How come vanilla? <laughs> oh, I had to be different. We couldn't both. We both couldn't uh, vote for yeah, vanilla. Yeah. It just picks one at random there. I guess. Oh, it it, it picks. Well, I see. Have, so the winner is strawberry. Have, okay. They both have one vote, which is cool. Right. Success. <laughs> this is awesome. This is tremendous. Good work, Jim. All we have to do is document it now. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But um, the uh, if you look at this. Uh, uh, You look at this file, it defines. Okay. We have uh, all these results. I mean, we have the uh, vote. We have uh, every time we try it, it adds another define at the end of the file. Oh, okay. So we have all our errors in here, too. Mm. Um. If we, um, I have a uh, process, uh, a shell script, undo. Okay. Where periodically we can clear them out. Oh, okay, good. And um, it's, uh, so, uh, oops. What the hell is this? Scared me to death. Yeah. I thought there was a, only the last thing in the file was still left. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should oh, back gosh. It up every now and then. Y yeah, be sure to back it up. And I have to commit the code. So, uh, so we can actually write apps now. We can demo apps anyway. In, uh, in Discord. Uh, we might want to test our, we might want to test them, uh, you know, Uh, alter in an alternate manner. <sighs> you mean t t testing at apps in we Discord? Might, uh, we can test them from the command line or whatever. Okay. And then um, define them in uh, Discord. Right. To test with other people. Okay. And right. Then you have persistent stay here. Right, no, right. Every time people are running stuff, they do a fresh note and they test it. Okay. And here, everything's persistent. We can actually do group programming, group applications. Okay. So the ballot, that's just one example of a, an app that can run on the system, but we can have all sorts of different types of apps that run. Right. 
Okay. Well, neat. This is uh, shaping up nicely. So um, let's see what time we got here. So it's about a few minutes after five. I'm going to go grab some food, but I think I'm I've been go get sitting in on the uh, the uh, R node testing on Tuesdays at 10. So uh, those are always interesting to see the, the progress with that. So I'll be doing that tomorrow morning. Yeah, I haven't been to one of those sessions in a while. I have to get back into it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the day when they um, get a... Uh, a real test net up. <laughs> yeah, get a, a, um, a test net that's um, up for good. That way, you know, that's going to, I imagine, open up a lot of possibilities to where we can, you know, hit the thing and, and start yeah. t testing apps and things like that. Yeah, we'll probably, uh, we'll probably have to, have to uh, uh, load all our contracts again. <laughs> Uh, when we connect this to testnet. Okay. Um, because uh, right now, well, the plan was this would be a shard. Right, right. Collab shard, but uh, uh, so, the energy of people is pretty low right now to do stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I spent, you know, this macro stuff can drive you crazy. <laughs> I've been working on it since uh, for uh, over a week, I guess. <laughs> for a week, well. And it's really very simple. I'm using the C preprocessor. Yeah. Uh, to uh, expand the macros. And we, I really like to find something better. Okay. So the preprocessor is. Kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have you been thinking of alternatives out there? If we Google, uh, hear me, C preprocessor. Let me see. I tried to find. I tried to find one. Uh, there is a Scala preprocessor, but I, I couldn't find a jar file. Oh uh, no, okay. there's a pre. There's two things, two parts to this. The C preprocessor. And then the C formatter. Okay. okay. So when we when we when we when we look at the defines, you can see they're they're uh, um, they're uh, all on one line. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, it's you know managing them would be a real pain. So uh, it puts them all on one line when it stores them, but then when you when you uh, Echo. Um, uh, dollar vote results. Of, uh, dollar uh, ballot name. Whatever. Okay, it tries to re tries to format it so you can read it. Okay. But it screws up some. And uh, you can see, I, I fixed this bug several times. You can see it puts spaces after the colons. Oh my! Uh, and they yeah. put spaces around here. I don't know how this got broken again. Oh gosh! So that's something else I got to fix again. I mean, the only problem would be if you wanted to copy and paste from here. Yeah. But it, um, it's going to mug it. So we need it. I think a scale-up preprocessor would be a lot. A scalar formatter would work a lot better. Scalar formatter. Find a jar file for one. 
As far as a preprocessor goes, I don't know. Um, I think um, uh, now searching around, I didn't find you know a macro processor. Okay, macro processor. Okay, macro. Now maybe I didn't search the for the right thing. Macro processor. But uh, we want to be able to put macros. We want to extend Rolang with macros. Gotcha. Gotcha. And actually, the, the C Lang, the C preprocessor would probably work if we could find if we could find out how to configure it. Uh, okay. And I didn't find. I didn't find, uh, I didn't find any uh, good ref resources on configuring it. Okay. And in fact, all the documentation that tells you how to change, how to replace the, the, the how to uh, specify your own configuration file. Right. It didn't seem to work. Okay. I mean, I, you know, I tried, I tried, uh, you know, my own little modifications to the con standard configuration. Because if you do do a C line format dash dash config, it dumps out this whole long configuration. So I saved that to a file and I made changes to it, but I can't get it to use it. I don't know. I and but uh, there's uh, undoubtedly better macro processors. Yeah, I'm just pulling up a list, you know, some recent one, there's an AA underscore <laughs> macro um, that was built in 2017. Let's see what that's about. Now, I'm not going to change it right away. Right. This has been too much. <laughs> yeah, you put a lot of work into that. Um, let me try. Well, yep. yeah, yeah, I don't want to take, take up too much of your time. I'm going to go get a bite to eat. And, um, so, uh, I'll try to join you on a well rolling uh tutorial sometime this week or if not maybe i'll see you on saturday okay all right see what happens yeah all right good good job jim thanks for all your your effort yeah well thanks for helping man you know you catch all these errors they would i would have been <laughs> I would have been go, probably going all night without you picking up the errors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I do what I can, the little bit that I can help out. Very Thanks, good. Steve. All right, see you, Bye. Jim. Have a good night.